have struggled to lose weight for so long and started and tried so many times. Even now I'm so anxious to go outside because I don't feel good about myself. I feel like I look, you know, the worst out of everyone. I don't feel confident in my clothes. Nothing even fits. I spent, you know, 20 minutes trying to find something that fits and it's just so hard to deal with this every single day. And I just want to try hard and stop making excuses and stop stopping. I really, really want to do something about it. I really, really want to make a change and I really want to do something about it because it's just so hard to do this every day and not feel good about myself and just give in to cravings all the time. How does someone even let themselves get to this point? In 2019, I started university doing my dream course. Little did I know I wasn't very good with big changes and I started to struggle with overeating from all the stress. I always knew about the negative impact unhealthy foods can have on your emotions. I loved eating healthy, but I was obsessed with junk food. My mind was also the weakest it had ever been. And this combination of always having a supply of junk food, feeling the weakest I'd ever been, and having an obsession with food was the worst combination I'd ever experienced. It had gotten to the point where I could go in an entire healthy food shop and later that same day still order a takeaway. It's like I didn't realize the consequences for my actions anymore. And my obsession with food, despite all the negative consequences, I would keep going and going and going. It started with my over-restricting to try and lose as much weight as possible before I started university. I didn't allow myself to understand the negative impacts of over-restricting calories and being obsessed with them and overeating the next day and it became this awful cycle that I couldn't get out of. Because I was counting calories and not looking at the deeper value within foods, I was still snacking on sweets and junk food throughout the day because it was low calorie. I really don't want to go out today, I don't want to go anywhere, I've been crying all morning because I just don't feel good about myself i feel like i've let myself down i feel like i could have done more to stay slim and i just feel so gross and heavy and i just feel stuck i just really really feel stuck i ended up gaining weight because my overeating days outweighed my healthy days in 2020, I first heard about something called Bliss Point. Manufacturers purposely put highly processed chemicals within these foods as that's what keeps us obsessed. For example, the crispiness and texture of this chicken is not like that of chicken breast, so our mind finds this more exciting. Study shows the reason why our brains get bored of natural and unprocessed foods is because it releases the same sensations again and again. But junk food keeps our minds excited, making us want to overeat. Later that year, I had to go to the hospital so they could test my breast lump for cancer. It then followed with a series of me getting even more ill. It was like no matter how sick I got, you would think it would push me to change, but it still couldn't find the push no matter how sick I got. In fact, I was scared of change, terrified even. I had been using food as my comfort and security and it would require me to step away from that. In order to break the cycle, you have to reach for everything you want. You have to get uncomfortable and face your fears. I was weak and my tolerance for pain had become very low. I used food as my daily reward as it was just easy. A fit physique is hard. Junk food was always easy. And I had allowed myself to create a comfortable place to take the easy train every day. There was a point where my stomach felt bottomless. I was just constantly eating. Sometimes it was automatic and I didn't even realise I was doing it. People will say, just eat healthy, it gets easier, but my hunger was 24-7 and it was limitless. There was nothing I could do without eating. Even when I was walking, I'd be thinking of what I could eat when I'm back home. I couldn't even study without wanting to eat. It would be going to get a takeaway and eating it on the way home because I couldn't even wait, or having two takeaways in one day. My everyday became dependent on it. It started to take control of my happiness and my life. I kept getting terrified I'd be stuck like this. 
It would give me anxiety and terrible sleeping and make me feel breathless every day. The thought of going on a healthy eating journey would give me panic attacks and I would feel like I'd never be able to eat carefree again. It immediately make me want to eat again to regain that control. I never used to be one of those people who'd get a snack from Costa as a drink would fill me up for hours in the past. But this time I would need one of their sandwiches and desserts to go with a drink just to even slightly fill me up. I stopped loving and caring for myself. I was just living in jogging bottoms and jumpers unless they had to go out somewhere. I even lost motivation to go anywhere and socialise. For me, it was the worst thing ever at the time and would give me deep anxiety on the thought of having to go out. My brain was adapting in my deep pain and self-destruction. So it showed me my brain can adapt to create my success. It's shown me how strong it is. One of the reasons it was so hard for me to love myself again is because I had no energy most of the time because the food made me tired. Secondly, making an effort to do nice things wouldn't feel good as I would just feel bloated, heavy and round. It resulted in me putting on more perfume, more makeup, more clothes than ever before to cover up the pain. My anxiety for going to see friends and family got so severe that I would have panic attacks at the thought of having to go out and people see what I looked like. Even if I was going out for dinner with friends, I would desperately even go and get a takeaway an hour before dinner. I developed stomach pains from eating so much and feeling sick all the time from the sugar, but I would still eat a full dinner at the restaurant and order dessert as well. My favourite things to do would be walking, studying, eating healthy and creating on YouTube. I lost excitement for myself as I would just be asleep during the day from all the sugar. The stress of doing anything like working would make me want to eat as my energy was just not there. So I would tell myself, if I work tomorrow I'll get some snacks or a takeaway to help me deal with this stress, otherwise I couldn't do it. The thought of always failing my weight loss and never being able to do it would eat me up alive every day, to the point where I felt weak and numb within myself. The first time losing weight is exciting because it's new and you've never done it before. When you've tried it a hundred times like me, but you've tried and given up and tried and it hasn't worked. It's so hard to feel excited about it anymore because it's hard, it just feels hard. You're at that point and you still have to have faith in yourself that you can do it. It feels a whole different level of impossible. When I had got to my lowest point, I came across a video called Books That Changed My Life Forever. The book that specifically caught my attention was 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think. You don't have to reinvent the wheel in order to be successful within yourself. You just have to use the wheel to propel yourself to make the best version of you. And the book was the exact medicine I needed to strengthen my mind and change my thinking. It had allowed me to get a magnifying glass to myself and realise all my life I'd been making myself feel weaker and weaker and weaker. We always secretly know these flaws are there, but I'd avoided them as best as I could my entire life till now. I knew all these bad habits that I'd developed over the years would be really hard to take back and change. But I'd naively thought these changes would just suddenly stop one day and it'd all be fine. It was only until I started panicking as I saw the months and days and weeks slip away as I'd became more and more unhealthy and unhappy and I didn't know how or when it would happen. I used to always wonder why a pamper session, putting on face masks, going on a shopping spree would never ever get me out of this deep darkness that I was feeling even though society tells us that's all it takes. Self-love is where the uncomfortability of improvement feels so painful that it's going to be 10 times more worth it in the end. You find your purpose in pain, you find your purpose through drive and that's what really changed everything for me. It's allowing the fear to come in and conquering any challenge that comes your way on your journey to self-improvement. I always thought that wanting to give up was a weakness, but that is the point where you're going to become the best version of yourself you've ever wanted to be before. The more intimate we are with our pain, the less we suffer. It took me so long to realise that I needed to stop just trying to mend the outside of my body. Instead, it was all about the inside and that's the part that was keeping me held back for so long. I had to finally face the turmoil that I was letting burn inside me. I had to go to the hidden part of myself that I tried so desperately to hide. I had to look my flaws in the eyes. I was lazy, I was unmotivated, I was undisciplined and I was weak. I found so much comfort in avoiding pain. That's the point where I realised I'm not just doing this for weight loss. I did this for the part of myself that could face anything life throws at me because I was no longer afraid to be uncomfortable. I was no longer afraid to be scared. 